We're really trying to expand their arts programs and my role with Any Given Child is really to gauge what we have offered in the district and we realized we did not have orchestra programs at Venice and Woodland Middle Schools. And anytime you start a new program, you have to do that with measure and good care. So we really lucked in to finding someone like Chris. I grew up in a military family, which means we traveled every three years. And for me, music was my anchor. It really kept, kept things stable. And that really drew me to the profession. That's the reason why I enjoy it so much. And I, I want to share that love. On a typical day when I arrive, I arrive at 9.15 is my start time, but I usually arrive 15, 20 minutes earlier. I, first thing I do is I tune the instruments. By the time class starts, things should be ready to go. I went into orchestra in the beginning just to be with my friends and then like after a while I like really it was really fun and I have fun playing an instrument and like getting used to it and having music and like actually playing something and being challenged by it. Orchestra program has helped me because I have a stutter and it's it's helped me be more open and it's helped me it's just a good environment to be in when you're not like everybody else we went to the MPAs which is the music performance assessment and where we performed three different songs and then we did sight reading and we got graded on that and we got superiors which is the highest ranking when we got a superior, I was really happy, and I kind of, I hoped we would get a superior, and I really thought we were going to, so I was really happy. Being a being part of a big group, it can, um, it can be a little challenging sometimes, but it's, it's pretty fun when we all have that big sound at the climax of a piece. Well, Christopher makes it work. His work ethic and his passion for his music and for the students goes above and beyond. To be stationed in two different schools, um, not being full-time in either place, and I want to tell you, through his hard work and his efforts, he made it work. So it wasn't as if you know we were ever questioning, could we have this again the following year? We knew you know, we had a winner. So it's really complex beginning and growing programs. How do you address the multitude of needs, the responsibility that it takes to grow a program? And I think we had that all along in time. And any given child itself is a collective impact model, which really then means it takes a lot of different folks coming to plan together from our school districts to our community to our leadership. And that's what's happening by growing these programs. We were very responsible in how we rolled things out and then are still responsive. I think it's really cool that Mr. Riley can go from one school to the other, especially because we're at least half an hour away from each other. And it's really cool that he like takes the time and that he cares so that he can drive all the way down here to come and play with both schools. And it's a lot of fun. And it's awesome that he cares that much about um, his students. With this year, my planning is really the start of my day, which helps that I can knock out planning for both schools in the morning. and. Um, have the day just kind of set first thing so I don't have to worry about it too much when I go over to Woodland. I already had, know exactly what's gonna happen when I arrive there and what I need to do. So I'm what they call an OG, an original that 
started out in sixth grade and carried on through eighth grade. And I am very thankful that Mr. Riley is here now because without him, I personally wouldn't know where I'd be right now. He grew this orchestra program so big and I'm so appreciative that Mr. Wing found somebody like him because he taught me a lot and I really have to thank him for it. By year three, I felt the programs at both schools were ready to go on to music performance assessments, which they did receive uh, straight superiors. And I'm really proud to say that these kids worked really hard and did their best and they deserve that. It was our first MPA so it was obviously like it was a lot of nerves like getting ready for it and preparing for it and I'd actually I'm in band so I've been to MPA once with them and it's like it's so nerve-wracking but being able to go with the orchestra and it was just a whole different experience and getting superiors was not something that I thought that we could do but when we pulled it off it was it was awesome. is a lot of things. We have a lot of inside jokes with Mr. Riley and since I've been with him since sixth grade it's just like so many jokes and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I find it very amazing how he can go through two schools in and one day two, and two uh, I believe it's beginners and advanced at their school, beginners and advanced at our school. Mm -hmm. So to go through four so different nice. classes in one day and transfer schools, I feel like that's a lot. He's a great teacher yeah. to be doing that. One, two, three, crescendo, bigger. Here it is. I think from the very, very beginning, even though we knew we were starting things in two schools, we'd ultimately like to make sure that each school has a robust program and that then is generally going to mean having one specific teacher to lead that program. What a great problem to have. That's a benefit to the students and teachers and principals and this entire community to say that we've expanded our orchestra programs enough to require even additional full-time certified professional instructional staff. Music is not just notes on a page and trying to produce that. That's that's the fundamental. There's more to music where these kids can collaborate and be team players. It teaches discipline and that's really what I love about teaching it. It's just that there's just more to it than playing music on a page. I couldn't be in this position without Angela Hartvik Singh and Brian Hirsch with Any Given Child with starting two orchestra programs here in Sarasota County. They do appreciate the arts here. I wouldn't have it any other way. Learning from the teacher it kind of makes you feel a little good because it's like he actually wants to put in time with you and he wants to, he wants to invest in his kids and he wants to make sure that we are the best that we can be, so I think that's pretty cool, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I am today. Bum, 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 bum.